Welcome to Inside Concept Pro. Finding an IP camera using the test monitor. Finding IP cameras during an install or while on a maintenance visit can at times prove difficult, especially if the recorder isn't streaming the video for some reason. It is possible with the correct software and know-how to use a PC sat on the same network or IP range. With the VLED 7TM IP test monitor, you can avoid the unnecessary problems of using a PC or laptop at site. This is especially necessary if you're, for example, outside or up a ladder at the camera. To ensure a successful connection, it's important to make sure the monitor is in the same IP range as the camera. This will be either, in the case of a new install, the camera's default IP address, which will be explained in the documentation which comes with the camera. In the case of any existing installation, the default IP range can be found by looking at the IP addresses used by any of the other cameras on the NVR. Firstly, if you're using the monitor for the first time, it's important that you are using the correct time and date. After the monitor has booted up, tap on Settings, Date and Time, and set the date and time in here, tap OK, and then Yes. Onto your IP setup. To set this, tap on IP Settings, uncheck the Dynamic Allocation setting if enabled, and check the Start NIC. Set the IP address, subnet mask, and gateway according to your needs. Remember the last number in the IP address section must be a number not already used on the network. For this test, the DNS address section is not important and can be left. Finally, tap OK and then Yes. Tap on the white cross on the red background at the top right hand corner of the screen to exit the setup and return to the dashboard. Now it's time to connect your camera to the test monitor by using the LAN port underneath. The camera will not be powered at this point, but you can enable this with your monitor in the following way. From the home dashboard screen, tap on IP camera test and then on PoE power output. Tap the button icon in the middle of the screen to switch on the power delivery for your camera. You'll see the voltage used at the top left hand corner of the screen along with the power and current draw on the twisted pair graphic on the right hand side. Especially useful in understanding which of the four twisted pair cables carries the voltages to the camera. Again, tap the white cross on the red background at the top right to exit the setup and return to the dashboard. Now you want to search for your cameras, which you do by tapping on the IP discovery icon. The monitor will now search for your camera or cameras. Wait a short while until you see the IP references appear on the radar. When the IP address is found, it will display the actual IP address along with the IP address of the test monitor. From here you can attempt a ping test, commonly performed on a laptop or PC, to get the quality of the connection. Once you've finished and it reports back a good connection, you can move on to the actual connection to the camera itself. To do this, tap Rapid on VIF and let the test monitor start to stream the video. You will see on the dashboard the camera's IP address again, along with the camera model number and the video itself on the main screen. Also, along with the resolution display at the top of the screen, you will also see the current draw from the camera itself. If you don't immediately see this, you must ensure you are logged in at the top left hand corner using admin as the username, in lowercase, and admin as the password, again in lowercase. Tap refresh to reconnect. If you need to change anything on your camera from here, this is easily done in the following way. From the bottom taskbar, tap on menu. The camera will pop up all the menu items for you and display it on the left hand side of the screen. For the benefit of this example, we'll change the time and the IP address. Tap on time set. Select Synchronize with Computer Time. Remember, we set the correct time and date earlier on the test monitor. Tap on OK to finish. We'll change the IP address to one which you need the camera to be set to, so it's important to have this ready to use. Tap on Network Set. Set your details in here, remembering to select OK when you are done. You can also check and set the resolution in the Video Set section, should you need to do so. Tap OK. And to exit, press the Close Return button.